Beatley from Georgia, Venice is the name of her program. March 2023, Georgia. The law on foreign agents is first introduced. Due to massive protests, government drops the law and promises not to bring it back. A year later, the promise is broken. The law is back. People are coming in the streets again. And, and what happens is that just yesterday, the government labels all of us as agents of foreign influence, and it starts fighting against its own people. In light of ongoing political situation, elections has never been so crucial as in October this year. But there is a big question, who to vote for? And this is the case in the super election year. This is a big question, not only for Georgia, but all over the world. 50% of the world's voting population can make a difference this year. I'm Anna, co-founder of Vinitsi. We believe that informed voters decide elections. We want to increase voter turnout in elections, and we help citizens get to know the politicians and make informed choices in elections. We all know that last-minute decisions of undecided voters decide elections. And in Georgia, this number is 60%. In political polarization, disinformation, and propaganda, undecided voters seek clarity in political positions. Voters want to hear clear stances on specific issues. And if they don't get what they need, and if they don't understand politicians, they may blank, vote blank or not vote at all. So what we offer is a fact-based and easily digestible profiles of politicians and parties showing their background, finances, stances on issues, and endorsements. We use speech-to-text technology and large language models to train AI on unbiased political data. And unbiased political data is original speeches, live broadcasts, official statements, and other public information. Our key feature is the rhetoric time timeline showing changes in stances of politicians over time. And here you can see the change in stances compared to last year to this year related to foreign, the law on foreign agents and foreign influence. The grant funding will help us launch the platform, while recurring subscribers will help us grow and reach millions of citizens who are voting. Our team is diverse, democracy enthusiasts, with rich expertise in communications, data science, product development, and startup development. All started with winning Democracy Tech Hackathon in Tbilisi in November, and since then we have been working on developing the platform. Currently, we are seeking 85,000 euros to make sure that the platform is launched before, before elections later this year and further develop in the upcoming months. Stand with us. This is the last chance for Georgia in democracy, for the democracy in Georgia to thrive. Together we can make a difference. Together we can save democracy in Georgia and beyond. Thank you. Questions? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. So can you give an example of what a politician typically would do to, you know, get elected saying certain things and then after doing other things? Uh, actually, our monitor, oh, oh, what we do is we try to give the, the to, we try to give the picture what has been the promise and what is the action. And our platform is about analyzing promises actions and every word how had, how every word the politicians have, have uttered on the record because it's about original speeches and live live broadcasts and people can see comparing the stances that is that we do by the analysis people can see themselves what has been the changes and what has been the promises what is the truth that is coming Thank you very much. Uh, I think tools like these are important um, for democracies around the world, even 
uh, and including mature democracies like the United States. Um, I have two questions, uh, hopefully quick. The first one, you know, politicians make speeches all the time that it's uh, most of their job. Uh, how do you choose what information to display and what information not to display, and how do you communicate to, to the user that you know, there's more information and more data that's coming into uh, the interface that they're interacting with. Uh, and the second, just in the, in the context of the elections coming up this fall, um, what's your plan to actually market this product to, to the Georgian people, particularly in the context of the bill that was passed yesterday? Um, starting from the first question, we gather the information. We gather actually the big, big data, which is the YouTube, and also we record this stream. We're recording the streams of the live broadcast. And you're right that politicians are making a lot of speeches, but sometimes there are statements that are replicated. That's one, and we're filtering it uh, down by the texts that we do by speech-to-text technology, which is one of its kind that has been developed by, by our team member in Georgian language. And then we filter down the similar text through the texts, uh, text itself, and that's one thing. And another thing that they are not making uh, exact messages most often in live broadcast because there are many things that they did not intend to say, but they still say when they are live, and that is one of the most important parts of our in the focus of our analysis. And there was a second question. Yeah, there is a second question on the elections. How we're going to market it. What we have now, we have prototype. We're working on MVP and even not getting funding. We'll continue as uh, uh, working at pro bono as we have been doing until now. Um, the, the, as for the marketing, we're going to have extensive digital social media campaign to bring it to the people. And now, whoever is standing outside, they have questions, what is the alternative? Who are those people? And we believe that they are ready to observe and to get that information and to learn and to get informed and prepare for elections. Emma, thanks so much. Thank you.